guys uh, we will start the neurology lecture series today we will discuss about the histology of nervous system nervous system the role of nervous system in our body is very essential because it controls our all movement our all activities and it regulates and control our all the organs around our body and today our topic is the histology of nervous system so our outline of uh, lectures are components of nervous system structure of nervous system and the classification of nervous system our nervous system is made up of nervous tissue itself but along that there is a lot of contribution of connective tissue we have division of nervous tissue into two one is nerve cell and other is our sporting cell in the nerve cell there is neuron in our sporting cell there is neuralgia these two cells are completely different to each other our nerve cells are excitable and it have the ability of conducting our neuralgia cells are non excitable and it does not have ability to conduct and the, our neurons are consist of two types of parts first is our cell body which is uh, called as soma and other is the processes we have two processes of our neuron one is dendrites and one is axon and the neuralgia it as we say it is non excitable it is non conducting and it has three types one is astrocytes second is our oligodendrites and third is our microglial cells as cell is our basic uh, unit of life same as neuron is the basic functional unit of nervous system it is consist of our cell body the projection like structure dendrites and this long part is called axon and the size of neuron varies from 4 micrometer to 135 micrometer we can see the 4 micrometer uh, neuron in our cerebral cortex and the longest 135 micrometer neuron we can see in the interior horn of the spinal cord it is our nourishing center and through the dendrites it receives excitatory and the inhibitory impulses and also the cell body contains nucleus we have spherical type of nucleus we have central and euchromatin materials the euchromatin materials are used for the synthesis of protein and we have basophilic uh, nucleus as well as we know the protein is synthesized via the euchromatin and this neuron contains our rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes which are helpful for the synthesis of protein and this protein is used in local or whether it will be transported somewhere else as we discussed the nervous system is derived from the nervous tissues as we will recap our our view from the nervous tissues uh, we got two types the neurons and neurologia and the, from neurons we got our we have one body and two processes in the body we have nucleus in which spherical central euchromatin and basophilic nucleus in the process we have two processes the axon and the dendrites other organelles in the neurons are mitochondria as we know mitochondria is responsible for giving energy in the form of atp and our golgi apparatus which is used for the pack of uh, vesic vesicles and the lysosome which execute the cell also the cytoskeleton which have two types the microtubule and the neuromicrofilaments the microtubule is responsible for the transport of protein previously we discussed about our one cell body and we said that we have two processes of neurons the dendrites projection like structure the axon the long part 
Now here we will just discuss about the processes. The dendrite catches the sensory information and it transmits toward the cell body. Here exons we have two type of transports of things. First the sensory information towards the exon terminal is called enter, uh, entero grade transport and if it is away from the exon terminal it is called retrograde transport now we will see the differentiation between these two processes as we said dendrite is afferent it means it uh, brings the information towards the cell body while the exons carry information away from the cell body and the dendrites are multiple branch like tree while our exons are single and there is no like projection in the dendritic spine which is our site for the synapse which catch our sensory information and the most one important part the dendrites have no golgi apparatus and in exons there is a no like structure that is called button that is the synapse site also the one important point in the exon is there is no rough endoplasmic reticulum and the ribosome which means there is no synthesis of protein thank you guys for watching in our next video we will discuss about the nervous system histology part 2